In this video of ancient Celtic folklore, we learn about three kinds of the fairy folk, all associated with water and the sea. First, the Mary, the Irish mermaid. Just like the standard mermaid myth, the Mero is said to be half human from the waist up, and half fish from the waist down. The human half of a female Mero is usually described as a beautiful woman. However, a male Mero, though less common in folklore, are said to be more monstrous in appearance. Each marrow would also possess a magical item in the form of a cap, called a Cahulín Druth, meaning Little Magic Hood. It is this magical cap that allows a marrow to dive deep beneath the waves, and without this item they would be forced to live on land, forever searching for their lost cap, and forever longing to return to their world beneath the sea. Female marrows have also been said to lure men deep beneath the waves with their beauty, where afterwards the men would be forever trapped in an enchanted state. Similar to the marrow is a fairy creature called the Silky. Wild tales of the marrow are more common in southern coasts of Ireland. Tales of Silkies come from northern coastal areas, but are also very common in coastal areas of Scotland. Unlike the Marrows, the Silkies do not take typical mermaid form, but instead take the form of seals while at sea, but can take full human female form to venture to land. To do this, they shed their seal skin as if it were a cloak, and emerge in human form. Legends say that if a man were to find the hidden seal skin of a silky, that that silky would be forever compelled to obey he who possesses her skin, and can even be forced to become his wife. The silky could live out her remaining days as a human, and may even bear human children, but will forever long to return to the sea. Should she be lucky enough to ever find and regain possession of her seal skin, she will immediately return to her home beneath the waves, and may never venture to land again. Though, some stories do say that should any children a silky may have born as a human be near the sea, their silky mother will watch them from a distance to ensure they are safe while in the water. Our third and final fairy creature for this video is known as the Kelpie. While its name may be similar to that of the silky, it is a far different and more sinister creature than both previous fairy folk. Legends of the Kelpie originate from Scotland, where it is known as a water spirit, residing near rivers and lakes as well as the sea. It is a shapeshifter, but unlike the silky, does not require the wearing of a magical skin or cloak, but can alter form at will. When it takes human form, it is usually as a man, but can easily be given away by its wet clothing or seaweed in its hair. When in water, it will take the form of a half-horse, half-fish-like creature, but when on land, it will usually take the form of a black-haired horse. In this form, the Kelpie will attempt to lure people to it, seemingly offering a weary traveller a chance for a faster journey home. But once on the Kelpie's back, its hide will become like glue, trapping the rider, and the Kelpie will bring its victim to the nearest body of water to drown them, 
so that it may feast on their remains. Thank you.